In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a symmetrical dress. This particular dress was simple and easy for me to achieve and I believe it's going to be simple and easy for you to achieve too. So the initial style I used this Ankara print for was this particular style but I discovered my size has become a little bigger for this style and I could not rock this first style anymore. But because I love the Ankara print so much, I did not want to give it out nor do I want to discard it. The print is still good, it's an original Ankara print. So what I decided to do was to change the style of the dress to a more suitable one that I will be able to rock. And what I came up with was this new style that I made. I have the video of the first style on my YouTube channel. It was my very first video on YouTube. And so this video is going to be showing the transformation from the whole style to the new style. We welcome back to TV Okuto channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for your words of encouragement. And without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> So the very first thing I'm going to do is to loosen out the old dress. I'm going to be losing the same allowances out. I'm also going to be removing the upper part of the dress in particular. This has become smaller for me and this is what I don't need at all. Once I am done removing the upper part, I will go ahead to loosen the remaining seams I have on the dress. Once I was done, I measured what I have for the fabric and it was two and a half yards so i'm going to be complementing it with this very black silky material and here on the table i have my front basic bodies block i have my complete front from one side of my waist to the other side of my waist i have the full basic bodies for your asymmetrical style you will need your full bodies block Either you are doing it for the front or for the back, you will need both full bodies block. But what I'm going to be doing this symmetrical for is only for the front side. That is why I needed my full front bodies block. And then what I'm doing presently is just to extend the length of the dress that I want from the shoulder to the exact length I want. What I have on the bodies block was just from my shoulder to my hip and this is a dress not a top i just added some inches to get to my knee level for the dress after this what i did next was to go ahead to highlight my front body's block with a marker for us to be able to see clearly once I was done with these, I have my darts on the bodies. The next thing I did was to come in at the right side of my full front bodies block by 8 to 7 inches. 8 to 7 inches should be between 15 to 20 centimeters if I am correct. Then also at the neckline, I went in by 1.5 inches which is 4 centimeters i connected with my ruler from the m line to the shoulder line i measured so i went in to label my right and my left because i need to know the difference between the right and the left hand side for this particular style the next thing i did was then go ahead to eliminate the dots at the left side by eliminating the dots I'm not completely removing all the darts I have. If you look at the dress on me, you can see it's a shift dress. The only thing I removed was two centimeters. I had four centimeters, which is 1.5 inches for my darts, and I then removed two centimeters, leaving the remaining two centimeters as my ease. So let's say, for instance, you have 1.5 inches for your dart. What you'll be removing is a 0.75 in inches for the dart. Once I was done with this, the next thing I did was to add my seam allowances around the whole body, the side, the armhole, and the neckline. And I went in 
to separate this pattern into two from the line I connected from the hemline to the shoulder. Then I went out to completely cut the excesses I have on pattern paper out. For the back piece, I have my half bodice block for the back piece because I'll be using only the Ankara fabric at the back side. And what I did for the left side by removing some of my waist that I also did for the back piece. I'm going to be cutting the back on full. It's going to be just one single piece. There is no zip. The only thing I added to the back bodies was just a hook. At the neckline no zip I was about cutting the pattern before remembering that i haven't added my seam allowance so i went in to use my masking tape to hold the pattern paper back together and i went ahead to add my seam allowances for the back piece here is what i have i'm done drafting this particular style or design you can see it's very simple then the very first thing I will do is to go ahead to cut my fabric. The very first piece I'm going to be cutting is the right side of this dress, which is the asymmetrical side itself. And the method I used here is slash and spread because I want to give the lower part and a little bit of the inner part volume. I went in to use slash and spread. What did I do? I slashed from the very hem of the dress to the tip of the neck i did not cut through the tip of the neck i did not separate it from the neckline i added my excesses between the fabric i added five inches each in between the fabric five inches is like 12 centimeters or 12.5 centimeters i added it in between the fabric i kept on slashing spreading in between with my five inches or 12 centimeters until i go to the very last spread afterwards what i did was to find the midpoint of the slasher spread like the way i did and i extended my line at the hemline by seven to eight inches connected from one side of the piece to the other side of the piece in a triangular form added my same allowances at the end line and at the right side where i'm also going to be sewing to the left side and the next thing i did was to cut it out to give me this afterwards the next thing i cut was my other front piece which is the left side I added the same allowance for m and for the side i'm going to be sewing with the right side also then also went in to cut out my back piece all the part of the dress is set to be sewn and i've gone ahead to sew the right side on the left side of the front piece together using a hand at the side like so i also went in to sew him my m lines and the shoulder line together the next thing i'm going to be sewing into this piece is my side pocket i love side pocket a lot this is what i'm going to be sewing in the side pocket for both sides of the dress then once i'm done sewing the pocket what i'm going to be sewing in is my neckline i will be taping it in with my bias tape and for the sleeve i also went in to do slash and spread separated the front side from the back side and added a little bit of volume in between it then i'm going to notch at that very mid point of the sleeve length because i want to add my elastic band to be able to gather the sleeve together in form of an exaggerated style in a way so this is what i'm going to be doing i'm also going to be adding gathers at the upper part of the sleeve which i'm going to be attaching to the dress and at the m line of the sleeve and this is what i was able to come out with after going in with my gathers and elastic band i'm going to go ahead to sew my sleeve into the dress line the first thing i did was to pin the sleeve round together with the dress and i'm going to be sewing the sleeve first then the side seams of the dress this is what i'm going to be doing to the other side of the sleeve and at the end of the sewing process this is what i came out with 
I love the fact that this dress came out so beautiful, unique, and outstanding. And the asymmetrical side came out poppy and unique. And the dress wasn't too tight. It was just like the way I love my shifts or my loose dresses to be. Just sitting smartly and pretty on my body like so. Thank you for watching this video to the very end. Please try this on your own if you love this style and you want to stand out in any occasion you attend. Just try it, sew it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And please, if you're watching my video for the very first time, please, please, please subscribe to the channel. Let the family grow. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if it has helped you in any way or form. Till next time, bye-bye.